So your kid had an accident in the car and now it's your job to wash the seats. How do we do this and where do we start? Well, you might be surprised to learn but it's actually not too difficult in most cases. We start by taking off the easily removable pieces. After which we go over to removing the belts. This might be a little bit tricky to figure out. In most cases the padding on the belts is something which is just loosely attached to the belts and not actually like the belt itself. To get these loose we need to go to the back and make the belts loose from the metal. This might be a little bit tricky as I've mentioned but by bending the straps a little bit you will get them loose with a little bit of effort. To make things easier you can try to expand the belts to the biggest size possible to give you enough slack to easily do this. This will take a little bit of effort so try to get some moral support from your kids if that could help you. With the belt gone you can make the padding parts free and remove these. And it is possible that it might be a tight fit to remove them, just take your time so you don't damage them. And with that gone we can start removing the entire cover of the seat, which in this case isn't really attached to the rest of the seat but in some cases there might be some velcro involved which can be holding the cover down. And here we can see the plastic pieces which are holding this seat cover in position. Basically by friction and by the way the fabric folds. After that push the belts through and the cover is off. First up we will clean the plastic of the chair. For this I'll be using wet wipes. If you find that there is a lot of dust or dirt on it for some reason, first use a vacuum cleaner. Most of the time though, the cover protects this area quite nicely, so cleaning it isn't really that difficult. Next up we fill the bath with water which is not too hot, so we don't damage the padding. I put the temperature on around 38 degrees. I prefer to wash these parts by hand to make certain that they don't get damaged and that they are cleaned properly. It's a bit more work, it takes a little bit more time, but I think it's worth the effort. Now there's often time like some kind of like plastic in these things, so don't bend it too much because else you may break the plastic on the insides. The first part is a little bit out soap. This is to first rinse the materials a little bit and remove most of the dust. After the first rinse I add new water, this time with soap, and wash them without putting too much force on the fabrics. But do make certain that the soap gets everywhere by squeezing enough and yeah, just wash everything properly by hand so the soap actually cleans everything. Then squeeze out as much soapy water as you can and start rinsing in new water a couple of times till all the bubbles stop coming out of it. Then let everything hang so the water can slowly drip out. To speed up the drying process I check every 10 minutes and squeeze the bottom to push the water out. This helps to dry it a lot more quickly. So now for the next 30 minutes I'll leave it hanging inside. I'll squeeze out the water every now and then. And when the water stops dripping enough I'll start hanging it outside where it can dry a lot faster. But right now I'm just trying to get most of the water out without making the balcony into a pool. <laughs> Now that most of the water has been dripping out and being pushed out, we can hang it outside. Also be careful, don't hang it directly in sunlight because that will probably break things. So this one by example has a hole here for the core to tighten the straps and loosen them. You can put a hanger through here, use this flap to put it on the hanger and on here as well so it's nice and wide. And you can hang it outside like this. Um, this should be good enough. You should probably also add some clamps just in case things, yeah, the wind picks up, but this should be it. So yeah, let's hang it outside. And this will probably take the rest of the day to dry. So yeah, <laughs> these things are mostly dry already. It's just a matter of hanging a little bit. I'll probably hang them inside with the fan on them and that should be good enough for those. 
then it's time for putting everything back together. Quite easy. We just do everything in reverse. Put the seat cover on the chair and push the belts through one by one. Then pull the cover properly over the chair again. Attach the velcro if you have any velcro tags. And if you have the plastic tags like mine, it's just a matter of putting those in the correct position again. After that, put the belts properly so you attach them correctly without any turns in the belts. And then we push the belt cover through the holes again. Before pushing the belts through the padding, close the belt so you are certain that you put the belts properly through without any twists and turns. Sometimes these paddings can open a little bit, making it easier for trying to push the belts through them again, because it's not that easy. Then we get to the most annoying parts, attaching the belts to the metal hooks again. This can take some time and can be kind of frustrating, but be certain that you put them on correctly, because else you need to do it again. <laughs> All that's left now is to attach the last loose parts and you are done. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like to let all the people know that this is a good video and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.